Checkboxes work the exact same way as radio buttons do in the sense that it checks to see if the checkbox is checked equals true, then it does something. So here I am going to bring in, I'm going to do this real quick, I'm just going to bring in three checkboxes. I'm just going to leave them named checkbox one, checkbox two, and checkbox three. However, as far as the object goes, I'm going to also use the proper camel casing to refer to it. And then right below, I'm simply just going to have a label for each one. Uh, ooh, labels. And what the label is going to do is it's going to verify if that checkbox is checked or not. Um, I'm just going to call them CB1 label, CB2 label, and CB3 label, just so you can see it in action here. And then a button, of course, to run it. So there's my button. I'm going to change it to check button. And in regards to the text on it, I'm going to say check the checks because it's checking the check boxes so it's a lot of checking here alright so I'm going to go in to the code here and I'm just gonna do three different if else statements so if checkbox one dot checked equals true then um, it's not label one anymore. It's check label CB1 label dot text equals check is on. I'll do an else CB1 label dot text equals check is off. And I'm just going to repeat that for the other two. I need to check to see. I made it CH2. Okay. Not a problem. So once again, all it's doing is checking to see if the checkbox is checked. If it's true, then the code does what is true with it. We don't always need the else for the false. However, in this case, just to verify that it is not checked, we're going to have an else there. So the second one, if checkbox two dot checked equals true, then I misnamed this label, so ch label two dot text equals check is on. Else, because if it's not on, then it's off. Ch label two dot text equals check is off. Go outside of my if. Notice how my ifs are separate, so it keeps each one independent. And then we'll do the third one. We'll do it right here. If checkbox three dot checked equals true, then it's CB label three, three label equals dot text equals check is on. Else, CH three label dot text equals whoa, check is off. There we go. Let's go check it out. Why is this airing out? Because there is not a CH3, there's a CB3. There we go. So right now, all three checks are off. If I check one, it's going to check to see if it's true, which it is. I can turn them on and off depending on how I'm clicking on the button. Pretty simple. Now, what I can also do, and this is kind of fun, if all three are checked and I click on the button, so this is what I'm going to do. If all three are checked and I click on the button, I'm going to make them all uncheck. So, if checkbox one dot checked equals true, and also because this is going to allow us to have multiple scenarios, three to be exact, checkbox two dot checked equals true. And also, checkbox3.checked 
equals true. Then, so we did all three of those. And we used and also instead of and because there were three scenarios. If there was two, we could just use and because there's three or more, we used and also. And then we're just going to tell checkboxes to uncheck by setting them to false inside the if here. So let's go ahead and run it. Checking the first one, check is on, check is off, check is on, check is off. Now all three are checked, so they're going to uncheck, even though it's probably say that they're still on, which it did. We didn't change that text again. So right now when all three were checked, they all still said that they were on. So where would we need to move the code to make sure that they all say off? What if we moved it above our three check statements? Because once they get false, I'm going to bet you that they'll say check this off because now they're being turned off first before they're ever being checked down here in the if statements. Let's check that out. So here again, we check one. They're on. If we check, all three are off. That's fine. I turn two on. The moment I turn the third one on, they're going to uncheck, but because we move the unchecking above where it checks to see if they're checked or not, I bet it's going to say they're off now. And it does. So, not only have you learned about manipulating different positions with if statements, you also learned about the checkboxes.